magnitude 6.5 earthquake struck central Idaho and it's one that a lot of people here in the Wasatch Front actually felt but a lot of people say they just thought it was an aftershock from the earthquake we experienced a couple weeks ago. Now this video that you're seeing here comes from reporter Madeline White at her sister station KIVI in Boise. She says that her camera was rolling as she was getting ready to do a FaceTime interview and that's when everything started shaking. The quake happened just before 6 p.m. on Tuesday. The epicenter was about 70 miles northeast of Boise and about 20 miles northwest of Stanley, Idaho. The earthquake was even felt by some Utahns along the Wasatch Front. Now, there have been several aftershocks reported anywhere from 3.1 magnitude to 4.6. Here's the mayor of Stanley, Idaho, reacting to the quake in Boise on the state public radio. At my house, uh, pictures flew off the wall and stuff fell, but there was no structural damage. Uh, but it was it's very loud. It sounded like a freight train. So far, no reports of any major damage. There's just a lot of people who are pretty shaken up by all of this. Now, the Utah, the University of Utah Seismograph Station says that there is no obvious relationship between this earthquake and the one that struck near Magna almost two weeks ago. And this map from the United States Geological Survey compares last night's quake with Utah's fault line. So it's something that we can definitely relate to, seeing as we had this earthquake in Magna about two weeks ago. So a lot of people pretty shaken up from it. For now, we're live in Magna. Lexi Johnson, Fox 13 News, Utah.